Hey Dad, can I open the box? Whoa, where'd you get a switchblade? Dad, it's just a comb. Oh. We have something exciting to open here today. We got this box from Rockler. Here, I'll tell you what, you want to use your real knife? Yeah! BC Design gave Vance this knife all the way from Ireland. He mailed Vance this knife. There you go. Whoa. You can design stuff on a computer and hook it up to this and then cut it out and make stuff. So you design not just with your hands but also with your mind and with the computer. That's high tech. I think you got it. Clean Do you know what that oh, is? Oh, the on and off thing. This is a router. Apparently Rockler didn't have the adapter for me to use this router. But so yeah, we're going to learn how to use it and we're going to learn how to use the computer program that goes with it so we can make, print stuff and make stuff on it. And it's going to be exciting, isn't it? I'm getting a piece of chewing gum. Yeah. Don't just look up on that. Part of my job as a parent is to expose my kids to everything the world has to offer. I always kind of look at it like we should teach our kids to use their hands and their hearts and their minds equally. And that's why a big part of Vance's education is here in my shop. He happens to really love it in here, and I think that's great that he likes working with his hands. Now, I don't know if he's going to grow up to become a maker or not, and I don't really care. I just want him to grow up to be happy. But at this point in time, he's really into this stuff. Uh, I realize, however, I'm doing him a disservice because I'm only teaching him 19th and 20th century practices for making stuff. And I thought it would be pretty important for him to stay current with what's happening in the world of making. And you know what? It's important for me to stay current in what's happening in the world of making, too. So Rockler put this small CNC in my shop for Vance and I to dive into this world of... of computer-based making. This machine is perfect for us right now because it's uh, small, so it's not too intimidating for Vance, you know, or for me. The other thing I'm excited about seeing is um, the, the green usage of this machine. I see a lot of potential for minimal waste and for running different reclaimed materials through here. Uh, so I'm excited to see what I can do as an upcyclist and an environmentalist. So that's what this series is going to be about. Uh, a middle-aged man and a young boy learning how to make with computer-based uh, machinery. Do you see where I put the instruction manual? It's over here. Okay, first impressions here. Vance and I, I've just rolled up my sleeves and I got all set up to dig into assembling the CNC machine, which is, was like a, the first daunting thing I faced. And there's actually nothing to assemble. I put the router in and I connected the cables. They're all labeled and it's done. This is a benchtop CNC so I could actually just pick it up and put it away and stuff but I had this, this is I believe uh, my kitchen table from when I was about 19 years old um, and I've you know, you've been using this in the shop as a cart so what I did is I put the piranha onto this table, I put these little wood blocks here to hold it still um, I had this old Garmin stand that I mounted the computer screen to, that's the brain, that's velcroed down I have a power strip here, I can have everything plugged into, keep all my tools and bits down here. I could actually build a little, you know, drawers or whatever. Nice little stand, so now I can take this whole thing and I can just roll it out of the way when I'm not using it. This seems to be working pretty good, and it's a height to where Vance can operate it and see what's going on without him climbing up on top of the bench or whatever. This is my first CNC print ever. Baby steps. Well, the depth's a little funky for these corners. But I know how to fix that by hand. <laughs> oh, God, I hope I can do more than this. Vance made a little drawing on a piece of paper. We scanned it, and now I've taken that scan and I've dropped it into VCarve. What's really cool about the Piranha is that you don't have to plug your computer up to it. You just put everything onto a chip and it has its own internal setup. So you can keep your computer away from the dusty machine. What do you think of that? It's cool. What I 
I was thinking was the other drawing you did, we could make into a birthday present from mom. A birthday is like, like a couple days. Yeah. We got a special guest. All right, and there's your drawing, right? Yeah, but it's sideways. Yeah, that's okay. We click on that, and then we have to go to... So go ahead, push the continue button. Ooh, it is a touchpad. When working with power tools. Very good, keep going. It moves all by itself and it goes around and makes these cuts. First thing we have to do is we put our piece of wood in here and we have to set it up so it knows to start in the right spot. Because if it doesn't start in the right spot for the drawing we just did, it'll miss the wood and draw it somewhere else, right? Bottom one? The bottom one will make it go this way and the top one will make it go that way. Oh, because it says left and right. Yes. That's the cutter blade right there, mm -hmm. that little V-shape. What we need to do to start is we need to put that right in this corner of the piece of wood, because that's how our drawing is set up. A little more. One. Oh, too far, you gotta go back. Oh, too far, so go back. Looks pretty good, maybe Wait, no. a tiny bit more. Yep, yeah. and then click load. And let's just give it a try and see what happens. So first we need to put on our hearing protection. Yep, turn it on. We forgot to hit zero when after we set it all up, we forgot to zero it. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's go back to the corner. Oh. See how it all says zero, 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 zero up here? Yeah. Now the computer knows that that's our starting point. Wait. Wait, router. Router first. good as how I drew it on the paper, but it looks good. It was our first time trying to use a CNC, right? Yeah, so, with a little kid. Yeah, with a little kid in a, in a drawing. So um, it's not the best, but we did a really good job for our first time. There you go. Yep. Try and get it in the cracks. Good. All right, I think you can pull it up now. Oh, wow. Looks perfect. The hard part is to hold it still when you're doing it, if you see. We could just vice it. You know what? That's a great idea, Vance. See, now you have that mark. Now there's a mark, yeah. Keep your nail nice and straight. Nice. Let's talk about... Everything we did to make this, I used our brain first, right? You used your brain. <laughs> oi, 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 oi. And then what happened? Um, we used pencil and paper to draw it out. We used a computer. And the yeah, and, and scanned it into the computer. And, and we used some apps. Yeah, we used the app that came with the thing to turn the picture into a vector. I think is the right way to say it. And then we used the CNC machine. We used a spray can. Yep. Dad. One. Yep. Dad used the table saw to cut the piece of wood out. And you used the router. The router table to edge it, and then you also did what? Oh, no, I used the sander. Yep. Or the wood burner. Yep. That that Bill Lutz made. And um, you could see we had a failure right here. Yep, because we're still learning how to do this. That's right. Failures are part of the learning process. Why are we saying it in this weird tone? Because we're we're recapping for the camera. Okay. This is the hanger that I put on with hammer and nails and needle nose. Mm. Some people, like your dad, for instance, used to think or would say stuff like, "Oh, well, if you're using the computer, it's not real woodworking." Do you think that this is real woodworking? All the stuff that we did to make this, or do you think it's like fake woodworking, like computer play? I think 
It's not. It's not what? It's, it's not computer play. It's, you think it's... You this would, is serious woodworking. You think it's serious woodworking? Yeah, because that's a very dangerous high-tech tool we just used. Right. And, uh, and we didn't use just a computer, right? We used other woodworking tools. I'm going to give you a break from this machine now, and I'm going to work on learning some more stuff about it so I can show you after I learn it. And so we can do more and cooler stuff. Because besides just drawing pictures in wood, you know what else we can use it to do? What? We can actually cut stuff out. So we could cut things out and then put them together and make... Do you think we could cut metal with it? Uh, some metals, yeah. Like aluminum and brass. Yep. Okay, let's wrap this up for your mom before she gets here. Good job. Psst. Good job. Bam.